All right, so the video is Life in Finland, the country of extremely beautiful women and pristine, pristine, I don't know how to say it, nature, travel documentary. So we will see. Pristine, okay. Yeah, getting nose please from clean air summer. Shh, enough with the spoiler. Okay, let's Imagine see a country that is consistently ranked as the happiest in the world. This country is like a cold paradise, covered in snow most of the year. The people are incredibly calm. It's not covered in snow most of the year, first of all. <laughs> it's not... What the fuck? We have summer, we have fall, we have, like, spring, and then we have winter. <laughs> most of the year, no. -uh. Calm, and there is no hustle and bustle. The country's agenda is not busy with significant events every day. Daily life is peaceful and simple, with everyone busy with their own business, and there is no chaos. This dreamlike country is located in Northern Europe, and it's called Finland. It has a population of 5.5 million, and is known as the land of a thousand lakes due to its approximately 188,000 lakes. Yes. Additionally, there are nearly 180,000 islands in this fairy tale country. Yeah, I didn't know that. Despite appearing small on the map, Finland is an extraordinary country with an area of 338,000 square kilometers. The relatively low population for its area contributes to the country's welfare and per capita incomes. The annual domestic national income of $310 billion translates to approximately $60,000 per person, which satisfies the people financially. How much is that in a monthly? 60,000... was it euros or dollars? 5,000 euros or dollars a month? That's... Nah, uh Was... what did they say that was? ...to approximately $60,000 per person, which satisfies the people financially. ...translates to approximate dollars. Sums. The annual domestic national income of $310 billion... They're telling us that's an average 5,000 a month. I can tell you it's not. <laughs> 5,000 is a lot. ...translates to approximately uh -uh. $60,000 per person, which satisfies the people financially. The country's high per capita income is one of the many factors contributing to its prosperity. In addition to being one of the happiest countries in the world, Finland is ranked third for having one of the most powerful passports. Yes. With this passport, Finns can travel to many countries without needing a visa. Yes. The strong passport, including USA. Thank you very much. We just tell them we're 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 coming to your country, and they're like, okay, welcome. No visa needed. I have this passport. Very nice. I like it very much. Also provides opportunities for residence permits and business establishment in other countries making Finnish people free in many ways. Yes. Additionally, Finland is known for its inventions and brands, despite its small population. The country has contributed to making human life more manageable. One of Finland's well-known contributions is the invention of the sauna, which has become an integral part of Finnish culture. There are over three million saunas in Finland, which means there is more than one sauna for every two people. Saunas are deeply ingrained in Finnish culture, and most Finns visit a sauna multiple times a week for both physical and mental cleansing. Finnish culture even has a motto that says, a house without a sauna is not a home. Enjoying the sauna with a view of the... I've never heard of that saying, <laughs> never. But most, most, even apartments have their own sauna. But I've never heard of the saying, but yeah, I agree, there's a lot of saunas here snowy landscape is one of the favorite activities for stress relief. People from Finland and abroad enjoy visiting the country's excellent spas and saunas in this way. This helps keep their bodies healthy and their mental well-being in good shape. Particularly during the winter months, people find going into saunas to be more relaxing, which in turn makes their bodies healthier. Fin so in the winter we go to sauna to relax, but in the summer we go there so we can drink <laughs> and party. <laughs> maybe, they don't say that, but maybe they should add it to the video. Finland wasn't always a top-rated destination, 
but it has steadily developed while other countries have faced internal struggles. For example, it created the globally popular brand Nokia, known for its iconic phones. Though Nokia has lagged behind companies like Samsung and Apple, it still continues its production today. Interestingly, there is even a town called Nokia in the country. Finland is situated between... No I thought Nokia is from Nokia. Like, I think that's the name because it comes from Nokia, right? Am I wrong? I thought that's why it's called Nokia. Or is it just coincidence we have two of the things? Yeah, it's from Nokia. Nokia is from Nokia. <laughs> like, oh, what a coincidence. You have to, like, a town with the same name. Yeah, because it's from there, bitch. <laughs> Northern Europe and Russia. It is a country that has a coastline on the Baltic Sea and shares its borders with Russia to the east, Norway to the north, and Sweden to the west. Yes. Finnish people are believed to have origins from Central Asia and Siberia. Historians suggest that the Finnish people are a blend of Scandinavian and Slavic origins from Central Asia and the Siberian region of Russia. The northern part of the country is called Lapland, and so its beautiful. inhabitants are known as Laplanders. Visit Lapland to meet the real Santa Claus, who now True. resides in Rovaniemi, where he welcomes visitors throughout the year. True. The capital of Lapland is also known for having more reindeer than people. True. You can visit a reindeer farm or enjoy a reindeer sleigh ride. Finland is one of the best places to witness the spectacular northern lights, also known as Aurora Borealis. From September to March. <laughs> Santa is real? Yeah, he's real and he lives in Finland. Also, fun fact about the reindeers is that uh, in Lapland, they don't usually keep them like uh, like during the summer. They're not usually in a cage or anything like that. They just roam free. And then when you are like driving there, you have to be really careful so you don't hit them with your car. And if you accidentally kill one, they have like a tag who is owning the reindeer. You have to call them and be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and potentially pay for the reindeer. But they just they just roam free on the roads and they don't care about cars. They're like, I'm not in a rush. You wait. <laughs> Travelers flock to the wilderness of Finnish Lapland to catch glimpses of the stunning yellow, green, pink, and purple lights. It is estimated Emotional that lights. the northern lights can be seen here on 200 nights a year, which is almost every day in winter. From May to August. I've never seen Nocha lights in my life. Never. I have to move one year to live in Lapland, so I can see those 200 times of northern lights. I feel ashamed as a Finn. <laughs> the region experiences 24-hour sunlight, True. earning Finland the nickname the Land of the Midnight Sun. Yeah, 24 hours of sunlight during the summer, yes. And then zero hours of sunlight during the winter. I think there's like two weeks you don't have a glimpse of it's just darkness 24 7 yeah 24 hour but the wind winter comes along people in Finland more than 90% identify themselves as Finns the genetic makeup of the Finnish population which in what, what that, what's that supposed to mean of course if you move from other country to Finland, you don't identify as a Finn. But if you born here, of course you probably ident- That's so strange. <laughs> I'm just confused. Includes heritage from northern peoples is often associated with physical beauty. Finland is considered as home to some of the most beautiful people in northern Europe. Immigrants from distant lands often praise the physical attractiveness of Finns. In addition to... I've never hear, heard about this before this video, so I don't know how many... How factual this is, but sure. Look, they have this mirror as well. <gasps> Are all Finnish people <laughs> beautiful only when they're mirrored? Holy shit. Is everyone more beautiful when they're mirrored? To its high income and productivity, Finland is also known for its exceptional education system. 
Yes. The country's education is free and provided yes. under equal conditions to everyone. Yes. The Finnish education system is divided into standard and polytechnic schools. While yes. standard schools focus on theoretical courses, polytechnic schools offer practical applied courses. For example, students studying engineering are assessed through hands-on experiments in laboratories and training areas rather than traditional exams based on memorized lecture notes. This is why I went uh, there's like two type of like university yeah, universities in Finland. There's normal university and then there's University of Applied Sciences, which is more like polytechnic. So I went to the polytechnic side because I was done reading and I wanted to do things. It's why you mirror your cam no shh Jonathan, not I, that can't be it. <laughs> I don't know why everything's backwards in this video. It's because everything is mirrored. Because Finnish people look more beautiful when they're mirrored. Uh, maybe. In this way, education in Finland is not just theoretical, but also practical. Yes. Which instills permanent knowledge in students. Yes. The country has a compulsory nine-year education process with no private schools. Students have limited lesson hours, typically three to four hours per day, and a max. I, 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 mm -mm. <laughs> maybe when you're grade one or two, uh, so you're like seven and eight, then maybe. But what the fuck? After that, it's just normal school, like six to eight hours. Maximum of 20 hours per week. They do not attend school for the entire day and do not have homework. In okay, th th this is how far I got. Because let me tell you guys. We do have homework, and we have shit ton of homework, alright? That is a straight up lie. After this, I have not seen any of this video, but like... We have homework! Are you telling the past North 7 year North who was crying? Because we had so much homework that my arm was hurting from writing it? That we didn't have any homework? Hmm? I don't know where they get that idea, but we do have homework. In all grades. Even in university I had homework. In university I didn't have that much. Because I did most of my work during the school hours. But still, homework. Instead, they complete their assignments at school. Philosophy and logic courses are taught before subjects like mathematics and oh, yeah. biology. Yes. The people of Finland are known for their trustworthiness, open-mindedness and conscientiousness. Yes. Which contributes to the country's low crime rate. For instance. That's why I trust you guys, Chad. It's because I'm Finnish. I trust everyone. <laughs> That's why. A 2023 study reported only 2,759 crimes per 100,000 people. Ranking know, Finland 12th of... in the crime ranking out of 133 okay. countries. The study also indicated that the safest country... Not just an individual pool. Yeah, it's everyone here, okay? <laughs> it's everyone. Countries are the Arab countries in the Gulf, while the most dangerous countries are those with a predominant focus on the economy or terrorism, such as Afghanistan and Venezuela. When you visit Fin... What does that have to do with Finland? Like, that was just so unnecessarily... Unnecessary comment right there. Finland you'll immediately notice the abundance of pine trees. The country's vast green spaces and forests are home to these visually appealing trees, which look beautiful year-round. Yes. Thanks to Finland's focus on preserving its green areas and smaller population, you won't find these areas being rapidly replaced by concrete structures. As a result, the country enjoys clean air. First-time visitors to Finland might experience temporary dizziness, or nosebleeds due to the high levels of fresh air. As Never heard of that. <laughs> Never in my life have I heard of that. What I do know that when I went to um, up road and I was like living in a city there for two weeks and then I came back, I could smell the trees like in my normal home area when I normally, normally I couldn't. There was barely any trees, but when I came back, I could really smell the freshness of the air especially if they come from an area with poor air quality. In Finland, there is a concept called Joka Miehenoikius, or Every Man's Right. How you say it is Joka Miehenoikius. 
And I don't know why they spell it. Is it spelled? Is it one word? Joka miehen oikeus. Okay. I don't know. I would put some spaces there, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm stupid. This concept allows public access to most outdoor lands and bodies of water for recreational purposes. Yes. It means you can freely roam, forage for mushrooms and berries, yes. or simply explore Finland's vast forests. It's interesting to note that over 70% of Finland is covered in forest, more than any other country in Europe. Currently, Part of the rights is that you also have to respect the nature, so you cannot leave any trash behind you. And I don't remember. There's a, like a rules when it comes to that, but it's like it's very nice. Um, but if someone owns the forest, they have the right to tell. Can you actually go if someone owns the forest too? Not sure. Needless, if I go to the forest, I don't check if I can go there or not. I just go there and then respect the nature, and it's all good. Who doesn't like mushrooms? I don't. I like berries though. I do eat berries in the forest. And then I do feed the berries to my dogs as well. <laughs> Finland, Estonia, Iceland and New Zealand have the cleanest air in the world. This means that when you visit Finland, you can enjoy a high quality life. From the weather and nature to the living conditions and culture. If sure. you're only here for a short time, you should definitely experience staying in the tree houses nestled amongst the pine trees. Just imagine waking up to such a peaceful and serene view. Visitors to this tranquil northern area often gather around campfires in the evenings, enjoying each other's company amidst the calm nature of Finland. That's Paul. Finnish people don't eat, like enjoy each other's company. <laughs> Everyone's introvert. Well, some people do. They savor Finnish cuisine, appreciate local music, and explore the shops. Another unique activity in Finland, especially if you are there for a short time and your budget allows it, you should go on an icebreaker trip in the north of the country. During the winter, lakes in Finland freeze and are covered with thick ice sheets. This situation has created a different tourism sector in the country. People sail on icebreaker ships across frozen lakes and even the Baltic Sea, experiencing the beautiful moment. This someone has really thought about this. So the ice, they need to be uh, like they need to break them so the boats can go through. And someone was like, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? Take all the tourists. So on top of us getting paid to do our job, we can now have all these tourists pay for it as well. Uh, I think they're making. They must. They must be making shit ton of money from this. I've never heard about going like going there. I've never been on one. I didn't know that was a thing. But that sounds like someone being very smart in business. I'd be like, you know, we already have the boat there and one person. Let's just get all the tourists there as well. The job gets done and they get extra paid. Money opportunities, exactly. Similarly, these ships also provide transportation from Finland to Sweden. Northern European countries are not just about tourism and transportation. To clarify, yes, but it's not the same. It's a different boat that breaks the ice, that, that, the one that goes to Sweden. <laughs> it's, it's a different ship. <laughs> it's not the same. They don't just randomly break the ice and then be like, Oopsie, we took all the tourists to Sweden by accident. Oh god. They also have oil reserves. For instance, Norway's prosperity grew after the discovery of its oil reserves. These countries regularly conducted sailings to different parts of the world and transported oil via ships. In the winter, icebreaker ships are necessary to transport these oils across the frozen Baltic Sea. These ships yes. serve multiple purposes, including safe cruises across the ice. But nowadays they... And tourists... <laughs> uh, multiple things. We do our job and we entertain all the tourists here. Thank you very much. <laughs> they are mainly used for entertainment. For example, the ship approaches a shore and people jump from the ship into the freezing waters at minus 20 degrees. They do this with air-filled inflatable suits that protect them from drowning in the cold making swimming in the ice-covered waters of the Baltic Sea enjoyable. 
If all this isn't enough to make you happy, Finland offers another delightful opportunity. Dogs! Oh, but that sounds like... Like, in Finland, we do... We, like, locals. We do... Go, like... Ice swimming? Is it ice swimming? I don't know. They... You wait till the like lake is frozen, and then you drill a little hole in there, and then you go, go swim in there. But you don't have anything to save you from drowning, you just swim, and then you get out and go to sauna. <laughs> Sounds very AI trained this video. <gasps> you think it is? But they have a section for dogs, it can't be that bad. <laughs> if you enjoy winter tourism and want to experience the adrenaline rush in snow-covered nature, Adi, you look can so go happy. sledding with Siberian wolves, known as huskies, and experience the thrill of speed. It truly feels like being in a Hollywood movie. The oh, scenery look at is them go. and sledding with the huskies adds excitement. While this may seem familiar to someone from a place like Siberia, for those from a distance, <laughs> they look so crazy. <laughs> like in there, what they they're barking, they are just like telling the owner that we should go already. We want to run already. Friend, a tourist, deserve to their monetization. <laughs> yeah. Why are you so cute? In culture, these experiences are a must. Visiting Finland requires obtaining a Schengen visa, even for short stays, due to its EU membership. For long... What the fuck? Is Schengen visa like... Just do all the people who are like in Europe already have it? It's just... Do you need just random visa for whole Europe? In term residence, it's necessary to have a good command of Finnish and the second official language, Swedish. This is essential not only for communicating with locals, but also for job opportunities. In Finland, proficiency in Finnish, for example, at a B2 level, is often required for professional practice, even if you have a job offer. Therefore, mastering the language is key to living in Finland. Helsinki, the capital... I would say that's really old school. Like, sh no, you don't... In, in all things, you don't necessarily need to know Finnish. Like, if, if you work in um like not multicultural or like you know in any company what they speak mainly english you don't need any finish there but if you are working customer service then yeah of course but then you should also know swedish but not all finnish people know swedish at all and even like i know a little bit my swedish is really bad is located in the southernmost part of Finland and boasts an elegant and majestic style. Even when viewed from above, the city's charm is apparent. Despite the country's beauty and high quality of life, rates of depression are surprisingly high. This may seem illogical considering the excellent health services, education, and natural beauty in the country. Yeah, what about the winter, bruh? What about when we don't see any sunlight, bruh? <laughs> Many people in Finland, we uh, we suffer from like seasonal depression. Are you depressed? Not yet. Ask me in two months, then probably yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's because there's not a there's not any sunlight during the winter. But then, like getting uh, the medication for depression is also. Not useless, but you have to be on that medication for half a year. So if you're only depressed for four months, then you have to, you should take the medicine for two more months and it, it's pointless. So every year I'm just like, nah, I will be less depressed when the spring comes. <laughs> However, Scandinavians, especially those in their 50s, have a higher tendency towards suicide. While the cold and cloudy weather through but we are not Scandinavians, though. Finland is not part of Scandinavia. So, is that a random fact about the other people, or was that supposed to be about us? I don't know. Throughout the year is a factor, it is not the main reason. In Finland, Doc. people often achieve things that usually require a lot of effort at a young age, leading to a sense of satisfaction. However, some find it difficult to cope with this satisfaction as they age. It is suggested that a lack of belief in an afterlife common in places like Finland, Norway, and Sweden. How do they know that? How do they know that? The lack of believing in afterlife? Oh, she... Oh, how do they know? <laughs> but I would say, like, many 
young Finnish people, we're not, like most young Finnish people are not like re re religional, re they, yeah, religional, yeah. So because of that, I would say when I talk with my friends, and you're like, "What happens when you die?" You're like, "You die. <laughs> it's gone. It's over. Life is over." But how the fuck do they know that? I'm shocked. Religious, that's the one. I don't know what I said. <laughs> but not that. It's in interesting. That you're trying really hard not to look at her. <laughs> True. I'm glad wish American was like that, really. It's strange, but I'm like... I wouldn't think any Finnish person would write that online. So how the fuck do they know that? so interesting just a random fact so not that's the best detail of this whole video that's something you probably don't find in many places may contribute to this issue without belief in something beyond this life people's resilience may be more easily broken perhaps believing in a religion is an essential factor in people's survival Cons how does that make sense so if Finnish people don't think there's anything after this life, shouldn't that make us to try harder to stay alive because this is what it is? Instead of being like, oh, well, there's another life after this, let me just... It, it doesn't... I don't see the logic here. Consequently, people in their 50s in Scandinavian and Baltic countries sometimes reach a point where life feels meaningless. Additionally, the inability to accept aging can bring them to the point of breakdown. On the other hand, Finland's border connection with Russia confronts the country with the fear of a possible nuclear war and living in bunkers. Nuclear war? Okay, if I am scared of Russian, I'm not scared of the nuclear war. I am afraid of normal war, which also would mean us mean that we have to live in a bunker for a while if the war is at your area. Nuclear war? Never thought of that. I'm just over afraid of the normal war, okay? <laughs> just like a normal one. You're in Natsu now, so that helps. Oh yeah, we are. Thanks, Jonathan. Oh, we're, we're good now. We have NATO. <laughs> Today, there are underground shelters in Finland large enough to contain one million people, where people will try to hold on to life in case of a disaster. What happened to the rest of the people? But yeah, most ap apartment buildings have their own like bunkers. There's bunkers everywhere. And then there's like um, public bunkers that are larger. And those are usually used because we don't need them right now. So they are used for schools to have like um, gym lessons there. So you can play football or basketball there under the uh, ground. Very cool, very cutesy, very demure, you know? <laughs> I've been watching you on TikTok. Very cutesy, very demure. Only one million of the best Finnish are allowed in. Yeah, that's it. I, I, but I, I would say we have more bunkers. We have bunkers for more than just one million. But I don't know if all the bunkers are good enough for the nuclear war we're talking here. Do you have quick access to bunker or are you turning the zombie instantly? I have a quick access to a bunker. However, however, they don't allow dogs there, which means if there's ever war, I need to take a tent and move into a forest because I will not say goodbye to my dogs. So, <laughs> I had a TikTok friend, you know, me too, but I've been seeing it so much it's stuck in my head zombie hector no the dogs will come to my tent and we will live happily ever after in the forest thank you very much maybe forest that's a farthest away from the what is, what's it called the line where the war is there front line right somewhere there we're gonna be happy living in a tent thank you very much for asking so i have I have really, I have planned. <laughs> I have planned this just in case. And we have a good system now. 
You could dig a hole in the crown. <sighs> that sounds like a lot of work. That tent is so much easier. <laughs> However, Finland has recently joined NATO. Oh, oh, oh. oh now they talk about NATO. But you know, because we have the Jokamihen Oikeus, that means I can go with my tent to every fo any forest I want, and then I can eat berries there, you know? Very cute, see. Very do more. Thank you, Finland. <laughs> you know, with the approval of Turkey, reducing the public's fear of Russia a little bit. Therefore, if Russia launches an operation against Finland, the 30 NATO countries will defend Finland with all their might. As a result, Finland is much. safer than ever. This brings us to the end of the video. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do we have any questions? Was that video accurate? Somewhat. Was it perfectly accurate? Mm -mm. No. Can't say it was. Uh, does this Santa deliver presents to people each year? Good question. Yes. Yes. Santa will come to your house if you have small children there. In person. So is Nord gonna pay for all, all of us to go to Finland to party? No, she will not. She will not. And besides, besides... Finland is a bad place to party. We go to Estonia because the uh, alcohol is so much cheaper there. One thing they didn't mention in the video that I'm really sad about is that we have this excellent, excellent party cruise called 22 Hour Cruise where you take, take you to Estonia and back and the alcohol in the cruise is so cheap. Uh, you're not allowed to drink on board if you buy it on tax-free store, but everyone does. So you buy this, like a 20, 24 case of beer or cider or long drink, and then you drink the whole, you have the whole thing. You drink it there and everyone has their own cases and you switch and you are like, it's so cheap that you're like, here you go. And it's just a, it's just a plus. So if I were to pay you guys to go there, I, to Finland, I would pay you to go to cruise. Because, well, I don't know how much it is now, but there was like, um, I've never paid more than 20 euros for that cr cruise per cabin. So if it's 20 euros and you have four people, that's five euros each. Sometimes you are lucky and you get the cabin with like 10 euros. So it's amazing, but I, they took the ship and led it to some country, I believe. And I don't know if it's back. I don't remember who needed and for what, but someone needed our ship, so they just gave it away. And we haven't had 22 hour cruise in like a year or something. I miss the boat. The culture there is that you have like a cabin parties, which means if you want people to come over, you will leave your cabin door open and then you can just uh, like see who is in that cabin and then you can join them 